Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 9. In this training module, we're going to explore understanding programming our injector data information into our sniper and how it's going to potentially affect what our fueling delivery is going to be to our engine. We have a lot to cover here. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at programming and working with our injector data information within our Holly Sniper EFI systems. Now our injector data is something we have to make sure is correct or else when we're trying to program our sniper, things aren't going to work out very well. We're either going to be extremely rich or extremely lean and the engine will never run properly. What we're going to do in this tutorial is break down the fundamentals of understanding what things like the injector flow rate do or the injector latency off timetable or the minimum pulse width value that we would program within our sniper systems. We have to make sure these bits of information are correct or else, again, we'll run rich or too lean or we'll never get our fueling delivery correct with our sniper system. Now it's going to be something that Holly actually populates for you already when we're selecting the specific sniper system that we're working with within the drop down menu as we're going to talk about here. So a lot of the work has already been taken care of for you already. However, we may need to adjust the injector data. I have oftentimes had to go in and adjust and tweak the values because things just weren't lining up when I was trying to dial in my main field table. Let's jump in here and talk about what we need to know about our injector data. So what we're going to do here in our Holly Sniper EFI software, we're going to have a calibration file open. It doesn't matter which file you have open. Let's jump up here into our system ICF icon up at the top here and we're going to move directly into our EFI parameters here under the programming information for the, both the EFI system and for the fuel injector information. Now the fuel injector information here is going to be programming things like the injector flow rate. This is how much the maximum flow rate coming from the injector can be and it's going to be establishing this flow rate based on this pressure. So this is going to be the rate of pressure at 100 pound per hour of where they're actually getting this flow rate from. We also have a minimum injector opening time. This is going to be the lowest we're allowing the injector to pulse to. This is important because this is going to block us out from running the injector, injector into an erratic operation where we're not going to get consistent fueling delivery at all. And then lastly down here we have our injector off time. This characterizes the response of the injector based on the battery voltage that we're operating our engine at. So we see we have a ton of different breakpoints in here all based on battery voltage. We're going to talk about what each of these means individually and then the bigger picture of how they fit together here. Now one thing I want to point out is that something like our injector flow or the injector off time here, it's going to depend on which specific injector you have which is going to be depending on which specific Holly system you're working with. A base Holly here, a Sniper 4 injector for example, that comes with 100 pound per hour injectors. If you're dealing with something like an X-Flow option here or a Super Sniper system, that may change. So for example here, if I'm going down into my, um, let's go down here to a Sniper X-Flow. We're going to find that that comes with 120 pound per hour injectors. Those injectors are different and the injector off time here will be different because the injector has a different response time based on the battery voltage we're operating them at. So, when we select up here, it changes our injector information down here specific to that injector we're working with, specific to the sniper system that we have uh, fitted to our engine. So let's go ahead and break this down as to exactly what all of this means here. I'll just uh, switch this back to uh, Super Sniper 4 injectors. That's the actual box that I'm working with here on my particular engine. So what we're going to do here is take a look at a few different uh, graphical plots and that's going to make a lot better sense as to what the flow rate, the minimum pulse width, and the injector off time here are going to be, as well as our system pressure. So we have our rated pressure and we have our system pressure. All right, let's take a look at this real quick so we can break this down. So what we're going to find here coming up on screen, our very first graphical plot, this is going to be the representation of our injector flow. And that's going to be our value that we find right here. So the rated flow per injector. Now what's going to happen here within our Holly systems, they are going to be what's known as an airflow based model. So we have our main fuel table here, briefly go over this. We're going to talk about this a little bit more in depth when we look at a specific tutorial for the main fuel table, also a target air fuel table. So we're going to break this down further again 
in future tutorials, but let's just briefly go over this. What we're going to find here is that we have an airflow-based fuel strategy. Now, in an airflow-based strategy, we're going to be using this table here to exp Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.